Hey guys, it's me. I am back again with another video. Clearly, I am in my creative spirit. So today, I wanted to do another crochet with me. Um, this one will not be a tutorial. However, I am thinking about making a pattern for this one. So if you guys want to crochet along with me, the pattern for this will be in the description. It's actually hella late right now. It's like 10.30, maybe 10.45. Let's see what time it is. It is 10.41. Let's see, can you focus? 10.41. And clearly I have this issue where I get creative at nighttime and like to start my projects late and then I end up up all night finishing it. So for today's late night project, I really wanted to make a crocheted checkered bucket hat to match the checkered bikini that I made. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll put the video in the cards, but I made a checkered bikini. I'll put the picture right here. And I thought it would look really cute with a matching hat. Have I ever made a checkered bucket hat before? No. Am I following a pattern? No. Do I know what I'm doing? Camera, why are you not focusing on me? Do I know what I'm doing? Help me, Jesus. A little bit. And there isn't much strength behind that answer, but today we're gonna figure it out. Before I get started trying to figure out how to make this bucket hat, um, you know, I gotta take care of the housekeeping. So make sure that you're subscribed to this channel because I've been keeping my promise of uploading consistently. So I think I deserve your subscription and also don't forget to turn your notification bell on so that you can get notified every time I post because YouTube will not tell you unless you put that bell on. All of the links to my pattern shop, my website, my social medias, and everything else that I offer are down in the description and I think that's it. So let's just jump right in to making this bucket hat. I literally have a no idea what I'm doing. I have I have a rough idea. I have a rough idea. This is not a tutorial. I just want to clarify this is not a tutorial, but I'm going to start with a magic circle and then I'm going to uh, chain two and then put 12 double crochets into the circle, but I do have to switch colors every two double crochets. So let's see how that works i've never had to do this kind of thing in a round well in a magic circle before but you know we're gonna figure it out we're gonna figure it out and hopefully it comes out cute because i would be very sad if it doesn't Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay, we have all twelve. Now let's close this circle. Let's slip stitch. So this is what my first round looks like. It's just twelve stitches in a round with the color changing every two stitches. I just blanked out. It is actually pretty hard to uh, crochet and talk at the same time. I feel like the camera is so far away from me. Let me bring the camera a little closer so you guys can see me. Is that better? I think I have this like semi-toxic trait to where I just think I can crochet damn near anything, especially off the top of my mind. And sometimes, you know, it bite me in the ass, uh, to say the least. But right now, it's seeming like it's working out for me. It's seeming like it's working out. Okay guys, look, we did the second row and it kind of looks cute it kind of looks cute so far so i'm going to go on to the third row i literally have no idea what i'm doing i'm really just winging it 
Um, I haven't even watched a YouTube video or anything. I'm just here trying to do my best. For the top part of the hat, it's kind of almost exactly like my um, ski mask pattern for like the first six rows, I think it is. I'm not sure if it's six rows, but I think it's six rows. But it just includes like changing your color every couple of stitches. So it's really not that hard for me to figure out right now. Let's see if I'll be writing my words later. Guys, I have already up. Ooh, forgot I can't say stuff like that on YouTube. I've already messed up and now I gotta take it out. I messed up. I skipped a row. There was a row where I was supposed to do two stitches in each stitch and I didn't do that. So now I have to take it all the way out, but I was doing so good. I was doing so good so now at least I have an idea of what I'm supposed to do but clearly this is going to take me much longer than I thought it was going to take me. I thought I was going to have this thing done in two hours tops. Wow this is actually taking more mental capacity than I thought it was gonna take. It's like, damn, should I look at a tutorial? I really don't want to. I really, really don't want to. I really wanna figure this out on my own. But I know there's a ton of tutorials. I know there's a ton of tutorials that I could look at, but I'm just so stubborn and my pride, my pride won't let me. I forgot to carry, forgot to carry the yarn across the bottom. Now I gotta start. Oh guys, maybe I should have did this during the day because I must be tired the way I keep messing up. I know I don't really open up to you guys much. I don't really talk about my life much. I'm just mostly up here, you know, crocheting and giving the girls what they want. You guys want tutorials and I give you that. However, I don't know, I feel the urge to open up a little bit today. So uh, recently I went through like a major life change. Um, those that follow me on Instagram, on my personal Instagram, you know, but for those that don't, I just went through a breakup of a long-term relationship. Damn. I'm sorry. My voice cracked, I can't even say it. Yeah, I went through a breakup and it sucks, you know, but it happens. And long story short, without giving you guys all my tea, because I'm not going to spill all my tea here. However, it just came down to a situation where I had to choose myself. Like, I had to assess and make a decision and my decision was to choose me. So I moved out and I moved into my own place because um, my last place my ex and I did share together so we both left and we're both in our uh, and I am in my own place now so it has been an adjustment you know moving here adjusting to a breakup adjusting to being single again um, I haven't been single since college, so that's, and I'm 26 now, so that's, that's been crazy a little bit, that's been a little crazy. And you know, throughout all of that, I kind of like lost my drive to create. Like it, it is very hard to come in front of a camera or even do a tutorial when you're literally sobbing. Like it's, it's very hard to create content to make other people happy when you're not happy yourself. So I just had to take a step back and 
I mean, I guess I could have done a better job of, you know, letting you guys know because you guys are, you know, my internet friends. I could have done a better job of letting you guys know. And a lot of y'all didn't even notice that I disappeared, to be completely honest, because why is my Alexa? I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Um, anyways. Yeah, a lot of y'all didn't even know that I noticed because I just think I do a good job of like keeping my private life and my work life separate. So uh, most people didn't even know that I was going to do anything. But you know, your girl was struggling a little bit. Your girl was struggling, but you know, we here now. We here now. I'm happy er because you know I don't think that there's ever a cap on happiness, but I'm happier. I'm healthier, I'm mentally more stable. Do you have a history of mental illness? Yes. yes. <laughs> and I finally feel like I've gotten my creative mojo back. Like I finally feel like I'm in a great space to be able to get in front of the camera and talk to you guys and you know, push my creative boundaries and do things that I wasn't doing before. That's the reason I am now opening up here on YouTube, which I never thought I would do. That's really it for the life update. Uh, you know, send me your wishes and your tips on what to do when you're home alone and you're bored. As of recently, I've chosen to do this thing where whenever I'm feeling bored or lonely or, you know, a little lost in what to do with myself because this is my first time in my entire life living alone instead of just like wallowing in those feelings i'm just gonna get up and i'm gonna create something kind of what i'm doing now it's late at night i'm not a early sleeper i'm a very very late sleeper and i started to feel a little bit bored a little bit lonely nothing on netflix was hitting nothing on youtube was hitting and i was like you know what I've been wanting to make this bucket hat. Let's just pop up the camera and get to going. And that's what I am doing. So, yeah. Oh, let me show you guys before I really like tap in and zone out. Um, it's looking a little bit better, you know, I've gotten to the third row. So it's looking a little bit more straight than it was in the last uh, try, in the first try of making this. So I'm happy about that. It's 11.25, 11.25, I've almost been working on this for an hour, I've gotten this far, this far, and then I realized, I realized I only have three squares of each color when I was aiming for four squares of each color, and I am now realizing that I did the first row wrong, where I put two of each color i really should have done one of each color and now i have to start over i said oh my god the pain this woman must be in so i think my problem is that i'm up here and i'm talking to you guys and i'm chatting y'all heads off and i'm not thinking i'm not thinking so um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be talking much for the rest of this video because clearly I cannot talk and do a project at the same time. I can barely talk and take out a project at the same time. So, yeah. I, I really just got to zero in and I got to focus up because this ain't cute. I've been working on this for a whole hour. A whole hour gone, basically. Few inches later. All right, guys. It's about 40 minutes later and I feel like, I feel like we're making really, really good progress. Like I feel like it's coming out very cute. I hope I don't end up having to take it out not one more time because if I have to take it out one more time, I'm just not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. And I'm going to still post this video and never finish the hat. But I have faith. I have faith. That was it for the update. I'll probably check back in with you guys in a couple of minutes or hours. Let's see how this goes.
so another update i finished the what the top part of the bucket hat i think it came out so cute i did four rows of one pattern and then three rows of the next well technically hmm, ooh, i am tired child i am tired but technically it's the same pattern i mean i just switched the colors after four rows and now we're gonna start on the i guess the body of the hat um so yeah now that i've gotten the stitch count correct it's actually pretty easy to make so we're just gonna continue and let's see how much of this i get done before i start to get like absolutely tired and tap out let's see if i even tap out today i might not even tap out depending on how quickly i can go but we'll see checking in again um it is one o'clock in the morning now this is how much i've gotten done which kind of is a lot you know nothing to my own horn but your girl's going crazy over here but i got all of this done um i just have about one more row for the body of the hat and then i'm gonna start on the brim the brim should only be about three to four rows and then this hat should be done so i should be done by 2 a.m We'll see. I'm not sure. You know, anything could happen. But if my mind served me right, I should be done with this hat by 2 a.m., which means that it technically would have only taken me three hours to make. But let's see. Let's just. It is now 2.12, 2.12, so I'll be done at 2 o'clock, and you know what? I'm not done. So I have this much yarn left, and I have to do a uh, row of single crochets to end off the brim, but this is what I have come up with, and honestly, I'm so happy about it because it's so cute, and I was so scared that I was going to run out of yarn. We were playing a very vicious game of a yarn chicken, but honestly, I think that this is more than enough to do a row of, maybe I'll do slip stitches, no, to do a row of single crochets around the brim. So that's just what I'm going to get done now. And then all that's left to do is bind off and then I will worry about weaving in the ends another day. Y'all know me. I'm not going to weave in my ends today. That's just not happening. It's already 2 o'clock. Like, your girl needs to go to bed eventually. So let's just get that row of single crochets done. And then we're going to call it a night. Just like that, from 10 p.m. to 2.21 a.m., the checkered bucket hat is finito. I will not be trying it on right now, obviously, because I have a puff and this is just not going to go over my head. However, I do plan going to the pool this week in my checkered swimsuit. And I will definitely be wearing it with the hat as well to take some flicks and show you guys how everything looks all together. So what will be a couple of days away for me will be less than 30 seconds for you. So on to the next clip. So I'm about to go to the pool and record some content. I'm wearing the check print 
swimsuit if you guys haven't seen the video for that yet i'll put it in the cards but i really just wanted to show you guys the bucket hat and i feel like my mirror is just not doing it justice but the bucket hat came out so cute hold on let's go to my bathroom mirror okay can you focus on that there we go that's my i think the bucket hat came out so cute I'm so proud of it and it matches the swimsuit so well. I'm actually really excited to go uh, film some content in this. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I wanna thank you guys for vibing with me tonight because you know, your girl was feeling a little lonely so I decided to make myself a hat and it came out better than I expected it to. No pattern used, no tutorial used, just off the top of the dome and it came out pretty amazing if i must say so myself but thank you guys so much for being here with me thank you for watching i am going to go to bed actually i'm going to eat some ice cream to treat myself yes i'm eating ice cream at 2 23 in the morning judge your mom don't judge me and then when i'm done with my ice cream i'm going to take my behind to bed i love you guys so much for watching